guys, welcome back. I am coming on today to do a layout for Minte Papers and I am going to use this collection called Blissful Time and it is full of these gorgeous romantic tones with a little bit of a fall vibe, but you can totally use it anytime whatsoever. It has like, ugh, I mean, look at like these little berry bits are in these floral clusters and there's these gorgeous pink and mauve tones and scuffy scuffy paint and all good things so what i think i'm going to do is start with this piece right here don't even know where i'm going with this layout yet but i am smitten with this swag of florals going over this this weathered paint so i'd like to mat this background onto something something with maybe a little bit of extra zhuzh so let's see i can always go that would be nice very nice not these pieces no i want to use that for something else no 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 we already talked about the frames let's see here's the same one which obviously is a gorgeous piece of paper this is almost interesting because i'd get some nice contrast but do i like that better Ooh, i kind of like that better the other piece that is rather interesting for this is the idea of coming in with, oh, guys, which one? Do I do this one right here? By the way, my name's Shannon. <laughs> I get so excited when I see stuff. I just start getting all of my creative ideas going, and that is that. Guys, I'm going to double mat it. That way, I can have some of this great floral and some of this piece. So this paper right here is paper number four. This gorgeous, gorgeous lacy one is paper number one. And then this is paper number five. And it is oh, all good things. Okay, so give me a moment and I will gut the papers that are in the centers. Don't worry, we will not waste any of this beauty, beautiful goodness. And then let me show you my photo really quickly. This is my daughter and her boyfriend. They were in Chicago and it was fall time, so that works perfectly fine for this photo. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm probably gonna then go ahead and map my photo as well with a piece of both of these papers and we'll meet right back here. All right, y'all, I have got my background matted and I love it. And I did go ahead and use my scraps to map my photo popped it up on a little bit of dimension easy peasy photo will end up about here ish now the next things these die cut packs are amazing so I'm going to start arranging and tucking all the way along this swag and the photo with them in a moment but first I wanted to cut out some of these feathers I think they're beautiful and these are from the new six by eight paper packs and these images are not in these die cuts. So I want to cut a bunch of these pieces out. I think that'll be amazing. Ooh, I also like that steer head. So I have a bunch of the pieces to cut out from this piece. And that's also going to give me a little bit of a white outline on some of my die cuts and a much tighter outline in the ones here. So I get some variation with that too, which I love. Another thing I think I might do Maybe with these pink ones or maybe the feathers. I'm going to bring in some glossy accents and turn them into kind of like an epoxy vibe. So I've got some things to do. Give me a moment and I'll get to work. All right, guys. So I have my little feathers are cut out. I've got these really pretty mauvey pink leafy bits and a couple of these skulls with horns. Hmm, stair horns? I don't know. Now let's start going, I'm going to move them out of the way. I want to start seeing what my big pieces are in this collection. Guys, look at this teepee. Isn't that gorgeous? So incredibly gorgeous. Okay, now I know it's floral, but I was wanting to do this big, like all the way up and down, like build on top of the floral clusters because it's so clever how it's done. So let's see. Oh, and I wanted to pop, I have my title here. It's not pop down, it's just on some dots. And the reason why I was doing the placement already is I want to make sure to uh, have a spot for it. So I'm see how this is there? I'll be popping things up because this layer is a flat layer and I'm popping everything else up. 
It's going to be so pretty. And I want some of that to peek through as well. Oh my goodness, I'm already excited. I get rather jazzed about these kind of things. All right, so the biggest florals, I'm not going to do like the teepees and stuff like that on this one. <gasps> Look at this swag, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm going to go ahead and put that right there because in my photo, it's not all that important, this stuff on top. Ooh, look at this ladder. Oh my goodness. Wonder if I can have that pop up a little bit. Guys, look at this like macrame wall hanging. It doesn't work for this layout, but I love that. I want all of these on, but they're gonna go on another layout. This is going to be like a big old floral extravaganza. Okay, I am going to keep popping all of these bits and pieces, mostly florals, because that's what I was vibing with this, all the way down. And you have the florals beneath, the florals on top. Ooh, look at this one. It's got this bluey tone to it. So let me go like that. I want to get some of these, look at this blue swag one. Oh, okay. So this is the dealio. I'm getting these pieces on, right? And it's just kind of meandering, doing its thing, looking beautiful. And I'm going to pop a bunch of the pieces up on foam like we talked about it. And once those pieces are up, I'm going to come back and we're going to take a look at it and see what other little goodies we can add in. Give me a moment. All right, so take a look at this. I've got pieces popped up on all kinds of dimensional goodness. So as things go, I would say this layout is done, but I want to add more because I can. That is how it is. So let's see. The books don't work for this situation. I'm down to like these cute little bits. So I like to start with the largest and get smaller and smaller and smaller because, you know, it's fun. So let's see. Why don't we tuck in some feather bits here and there? I think that would be good because they're so, so pretty. So we've got this really gorgeous ladder piece here. I can tuck something behind that. And remember, these were from the new 6x8 books, which are so cool. I have a bit of an open spot right here that I would like to have something tucked into. So we can pop a feather there. We can have feathers popping here, there, and everywhere, just because we want to. And then I have these smaller flowers that we can always fill in spots with as well. But I like to get the repeating elements popped in. Now, I also love the pop of the strong rosy color on these little leafy bits. So I'm going to continue just tucking all of these pretty things in. And guys, I don't even know if it needs mist or anything. It is just so darn pretty. This collection is a must have, like a have to have to have. And it's one of those collections that I really liked online, but you see it in person and you're like, oh, now I get it. It is just the best. Absolutely gorgeous. There we go. A nice little pink bit there. Oh, let's put a smaller one with this feather piece. I know it's hard to see, but there we go. A nice small one there. All right, I'm going to keep layering these little bits. It's not going to take me long because I'm just about done with this. I want to see if there's any cardboard stickers that we can add in. So we'll do that together in just a moment. So let's see about getting some of these wordy bits in here. Oh, by the way, I popped on a bunch more of those floral bits. And I love the dimension and all of the beautiful things on this one. Okay, let's see what wordy bits will work for these two hanging out in Chicago. I kind of feel like, guys, do we need a little bit more floral under there? You know, because I clearly don't have enough. And that's being facetious. I know I have a ton, but it just looks a little bit empty right here. I have this, but I want that the pink floral to be able to still be shown. So hold on. We got to just do a little shifting here. 
little tugging and shifting and while I'm at it. Oh, well, and do the pink floral there. Let me go ahead and put a pop dot under this feather piece. You know, I could play along with this stuff all day long, adding and adding. I love to layer. Okay, there we go. Nicole just wanted a little something, something. All right, back to this. Got a couple little wordy bits, like maybe here and there, and that's it. That's all I'm gonna need. Ooh, I like Sweet You, Lazy Day, She's My Bestie. Let's see. Happiness is so close. I mean, I could do these big white circle bits too. Hmm. I like this word lovely. That would be a nice little sentiment tucked in. Maybe right about there. That would be nice. So I like the idea of getting a little bit of the white in here. Let's see. You can do a little my love because I do dig the fishtail banners in these pieces. There we go. Just a little something there. And is that going to be it? I think I'm going to grab a few sequins and dot them in through the layout. And then I'll have some still shots for you. Give me one moment. So that is this layout done. Just a few sequins sprinkled throughout for a little bit of shine and happiness. And I did not end up doing the treatment with the um, glossy accents that I talked about in the beginning because I ended up loving this layout as is. And it all started with that great swag going up the middle. So I had like this massive floral cluster. So that's it, my friends. I will have a link down below where you can get your hands on Minte products. And, oh, and I'll have a few still shots to come. All right, guys, have the best day and I'll be back ever so soon with another video. Bye for now.